Hey man, it sure is good to see y'all. Guess what? It's your main man, Mr. Diamond, baby. And like I said, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. And I'm glad to be back. And hey, man, I hope we all in for one hell of a ride. Can you dig it? Hey man, uh, first off, I want to just say thank you. Thank you to everybody who been riding with me over the years. Everybody who stayed checking in with me, you know, sometimes I dip out, I dip back in, then I dip out, then I dip back in. Well, you know, a lot of y'all stay checking my page, stay waiting for me to come back, stay leaving comments, comments, and this is over a period of years, man, and that says a lot. That's that speaks volumes, and I really, really, really appreciate y'all. Can you dig it? I don't plan on uh, leaving this time. You know what? I think I'm just going to ride it to the rims this time. I don't have no plan. I don't have no scheme. I ain't following no script. I'm just going, you know what I'm saying, screaming like I mean it. And as usual, as always, I'm going to run it to you right as I know it. I done checked my emails. And man, I have so, 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 so many emails. I got to be honest, I don't even know. I fuck around and have to pay somebody to uh, read all these motherfuckers to me, man. It's just so many of them. Can you dig it? And I love it. And I appreciate y'all. Um, you know, I know we're going to have a lot of fun <clears throat> this time around. We're going to do some of the same shit we did last time. Same shit we did the time before. I'm going to have, hopefully, some guest speakers. You know, I have a lot of cats who always tell me they're going to check in, be a guest, and holler at y'all, you know, from their perspectives. And then for some reason, they decide they don't want to. You know, some of these cats are still doing their thing, and I understand that they probably, uh, you know, a little leery of conspiracy situations and things like that, and I understand that, so I don't hold it against none of them. You dig? Not a one. Mm -mm. But here's the thing. I'm going to keep bringing it to you. You dig what I'm saying? I'm going to keep bringing it to you. And like I said, when I speak on the game, I speak on things that I've done or I've seen with my own eyes and definitely, definitely the things that work for me. Uh, now, I'm going to be answering questions. I think the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to answer some old ones, answer some new ones, answer some old ones, answer some new ones. But I really still really want y'all to send me some videos because that lets people know that I'm interacting with real people. You know, and I plus you know, and plus I appreciate the love. You know what I'm saying? That a video brings that let me know you put in some effort to fuck with me. And I, I just can't tell you how real that is. Uh, you know, and the video still going to the same place, high dollar game. That's high dollar game at gmail.com. That's how you get at me. Uh, now, I ain't going to take up too much of your time, man. I'm just so glad to be back kicking it with y'all. Uh, you know, a couple of shout-outs before I get started. You know what I'm saying? To some people that I done met along the way. Uh, first and foremost, my main man, uh, 20 Stacks Max. Y'all might know him as uh, Max the Pope. Uh, you know, whatever you know him as, Max, you know who I'm talking to, man. One of the first cats that I actually... Uh, had a live interaction with man and I dig that young brother out, out there doing his thing real big I think he done open up a gym now uh, so y'all if y'all near him and y'all know him go break bread with my man get your swole on I want to say what's up to my man AC you know I done plugged in with him along the way AC been real cool holding it down he actually here in D-Town with me uh, young player doing his thing man and uh, you know I ain't gonna say too much about that, but he, he, he getting it in, and he, he feels like that my words have assisted him along his journey, and hey man, I'm just glad I could, you know, I tip my hat to you, bro, and hopefully you keep popping your collar real strong. Uh, want to say what's up to Nasty Nita, and uh, yeah, Nita, that's a female, and uh, she's up out of Atlanta, she's up out of Atlanta, man, and uh, she said she was a stripper turned pimpstress, <laughs> and I'm loving that. 
and uh, she feel like she got a lot of her game from me, man, and she told me that, you know, she drop in on me every once in a while and say thank you. You know, we ain't plugged in in a while, but I know she gonna be getting back at me. Cause she already dropped me a note and told me she riding with me to the end. But she said uh, a lot of my advice helped her out, you know, in her little old journey. And uh, she doing her thing out in Hot Atlanta. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, if I miss anybody, man, you know, it ain't it ain't nothing personal. It's just some of the people that I know stay in touch with me and who I done decided to stay in touch with. Um, you know, and oh, yeah, 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 I want to say what's up to uh, my homegirl, Real Lovely. That's her, that's her name, Real Lovely. And I said homegirl, she ain't here in Dallas. She's in Los Angeles, but she hollered at me on some old shit. You know, she was trying to get me to jump back in and give her some guidance. And I just told her, you know, hey, man, I give you some guidance from a distance, but it ain't really my thing no more. You know, I told her I could point her into some directions of some, of some, uh, you know, peas who was popping their collars. And she was like, nah, man, if I'm a fuck with the 16, I'm a fuck with you. And if it ain't you, I don't think it's gonna be nobody. And I'm sure that's how she felt at the time, but over time, she'll probably change her mind. But anyway, uh, real lovely, baby. If you're out there, get at me. I, I you know, I remember you. Uh, and I won't chop it up with you a little bit more. So anyway, man, getting into it, uh, this right here blew my mind. Like I said, I got so many emails, so many emails, but I was going through them, man, and I got an email from Chang Sha, if I said that right, Chang Sha China. Chang Sha China, man. And that's the one that I'm gonna choose to address today before I get off the air. And, uh, and then, in the question that this cat chose to ask, you know, it's like one that, uh, you know, I kind of touched on it a few years back. Uh, anyway, fuck all that, I'm just gonna get into it, man. But damn, China, man, how you love that? China, can you dig it, baby? Mr. Diamond riding in China. Shit, I ain't mad about it. Uh, but this cat go by the name of Skinny Wong, and he's in Changshaw, China. And uh, he dropped me an email. He didn't drop me no video. And, uh, and the dude had the courtesy. He wrote the email in his native uh, script, but he translated under every line. Uh, I should have printed that shit out and showed it to y'all, man, because it was so play, I couldn't believe he took the time to do that. But anyway, the question he had was, why don't I respond to all the negative comments? Um, and he went on to say some other stuff and he said uh, you know a lot of people say bad things about me because I'm a pimp or bad things about some of my friends because they chose to be pimps pimps should be died dead killed hung fried all blah 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 and he asked me why don't I ever take the time to respond to him well my man skinny one I'm gonna tell you like this um, first and foremost it don't bother me. It ain't important enough for me to respond to. You dig what I'm saying? It ain't got nothing to do with my day-to-day -day activities, me checking in on a chump. You dig what I'm saying? Everybody had their opinion. Hey, you got yours, I got mine, and they got theirs. And, you know, they say they wish I would die. Some of them say they wish I would die. They gonna get their wish, but shit, you know, it's gonna happen to them too. We all gonna die someday. Uh, in my case, I just hope it's more later than sooner, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, but the main, yeah, the main reason I don't respond is because I just really don't give a damn about somebody's negative opinion of me. You dig what I'm saying? Another reason why I don't respond is because I feel like uh, having a cyber fight, so to speak, is just so fucking stupid you know what i'm saying arguing in a sense is kind of pointless but if you're gonna argue with somebody who you don't know over the internet that's just like man i can't even explain how stupid that is to me it's my opinion my personal opinion you dig what i'm saying 
I, it just, it, I don't know, man. It just, it ain't never bothered me. You know, I heard a, I heard a rapper. I don't remember which one, but I heard a rapper say, "If you let the, if you let the words of another man bother you, then you might as well let that man father you." And man, I'm sunning cats. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody. I ain't bowing down to nobody. You know what I'm saying? And I don't expect nobody to bow down to me. But I damn sure ain't finna sun up under no cat. You know what I'm saying? If anything, I'm a father to cat. He gon' you know what I'm saying, when you when you let people guide you into those little places, you end up being exactly where they want you to be. And you end up being as small and as minuscule as their fucking comments and shit feel to me. And I definitely, definitely, definitely refuse to be guided by a chump into a chump's circle. You dig what I'm saying? I stand in a player square. That's where I belong. That's where I'm gonna be, plain and simple. So, uh, you know, everybody who got negative comments about me, keep them coming. I'm, I, ain't, I ain't mad at you. I want your comment just like I want the comments of the people who feeling me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna play like I got love for you, but I still don't mind reading or hearing what you have to say. So skinny one, man, I hope that answered your question. And YouTube, I'm back. It's on, baby. It's popping. Fuck with me. I got a lot of big things happening. Uh, I got a wine coming out pretty soon. They in the makings of manufacturing a wine that hopefully y'all will show love on me and purchase. I got some uh, <laughs> some grown up cookies. Uh, and pastries in the making. Uh, when I say grown up, it's just that they're, they're, they're made with different uh, rums and stuff like that. So it ain't nothing nasty. It's just, you know, you can't be a kid and eat these. It's just the same as, as drinking a cup of alcohol or some shit like that. Uh, I still have my cologne, man. You know, I got a site that's up and running right now. It's uh, It still needs some work. It's called SaleSoldiers.com. Y'all check it out, man. I still got my perfume cologne, and it's doing rather well. At, uh, to date, I done sold a little bit over 100,000 bottles. So if you ain't got some, you're missing out. Also, I got free samples. Hit me up on my email, highdollargame at gmail.com. Let me know you want a free sample. Uh, Leave me an address where I can send it to, P.O. Box, I don't care. Your job address, I don't care. Somewhere where I can send it to, I'll send you a sample. You ain't got to pay nothing but the uh, fucking uh, tax or shipping or whatever they call. And, uh, and that's on my website. I think it's like 2 or $3. Dollars, I don't know. But technically, the sample is free. And, hey, man, I got six fragrances now. Six different scents. And they all straight play up. It's your man, Mr. Diamond, signing off. YouTube, glad to be back. I'll see y'all in a minute.